Half past seven o'clock. It's not charging, but uh, the weather is good and it flies very well. Here is Mission Planner. You can see the red curve, it's the current took from the motor. The blue curve is the current provided by the solar cells. Here is the current provided by solar cells. It's few but it's normal because we are in the morning. The current took from the motor around 4 amps, it's very good. The battery is at 15 volts. We are draining the battery slowly, everything is ok. We had an error compass variant. The autopilot had disabled the external compass, but the plane fly very well and straight. We are now charging the battery. Look at that. 130 watts, sometimes more, up to 10 amps from the solar cells. The battery was at 11 volts at 10 o'clock. It's now 14.3 volts. Okay, have a look on the log file. Here is the voltage curve. So that is interesting to see this curve. Here is the first phase when uh, the production was not enough in the morning to compensate the power took from the motor. The battery start here at uh, 16 volts and uh, it uh, decreases slowly until uh, 10 o'clock. And uh, what is interesting to see here is uh, the power consumption, uh, the plane need to fly. So we have uh, an average uh, voltage here. It's 13.5 uh, volts. The motor took uh, an average of uh, 3.5 amps. That means we need 30 watts to fly. And since 10 o'clock to 1 o'clock, we are flying and charging the battery. We can see here the power production, 5.2 uh, amps on a rage. is greater than the current we need to fly. But during the more interesting period of the day, here we've got a big cloud. You can see the orange curve. This is the power production from the solar cells. Boom! It fall down during one hour. And if we didn't have this cloud, the voltage uh, could reach 16 volts again. And this phase is interesting because we can see we've got uh, a sustained flight. The power production is equal to the power consumption. And after that, the last phase, when the battery started to decrease slowly but have a look on it at this phase we need a lot of more power to fly and look this we've got three incidents we can observe on the FPV camera that sometimes the motor locked 
it's because uh, the timing of the controller was not set correctly and when the motor tried to start again it took some amps but the propeller wasn't spinning and if we look at the altitude look at here the altitude decrease at full throttle hopefully we was watching the plane and we, could, we, took, we took it manually to prevent a crash and I think at the last motor lock the ESC was damaged that's why after that the power consumption was more like 70 watts which is more than the power production. If we didn't have this problem, I think the plane were flying until the night. So now the problem is solved, we changed the motor and the ESC. And this time the motor timing was set correctly. So next flight will be the longest flight for this plane, for sure.